I was asked to do a challenge where I can only use the stones on day one and two, but on day three I have to get the pitchfork. So we're gonna see how that goes. You guys didn't get any snow down there? That's ridiculous. We had like maybe I think six, seven inches ish, maybe a little less. It was really, it was the really heavy crap though. Okay, so he's not here. That would be nice. Nothing sticking to the ground. We had the... Ours was very much the opposite. It started out... It's like, started the thing where the ground wasn't cold enough to, for it to stick, but then it started to get cold enough for it to stick. And then that really sucked. It was really weird too, like, where our house is, the neighbor across the street, pretty much all the stuff the plows put in front of his house was gone. Whoops, we gotta kick Mark out first. Like, they didn't have any, he didn't have to worry about anything in his front yard. When he came, when he got back from work, he had maybe like six inches of plow stuff left. Meanwhile, we had I have a 24 foot intake on my, a 24 inch intake on my snowblower, and it was up to the top of that with all the chunks the snowblower left. Hey Chris, welcome in, hope your night's going well. So yeah, hopefully the, well that's good if you got, if there's not anything sticking there, then it shouldn't be that difficult to do all the, like it shouldn't hurt the convention or anything. Got him. See, that's so nice to see that extra damage. Uh, this was this was a request that they want me to do only stones on the first two days and then finish him off with the pitchfork on day three. So I'm hoping I'll be able to be done with this one nice and quickly and then get back to the whole parenting thing while my daughter is sleeping off. Well, the drugs are already worn off, but... See, how come that one can talk to both, but when I try to get a different bot to talk to both, it doesn't? Two. Whoa, Jason. Rude. Three. Four, five, six. And 10. Whoa. Yeah, she's doing better now. She uh, she was under the impression that they took out her tongue. Which was quite humorous. Hearing her argue and we're like, no, they didn't take your tongue out and at being absolutely certain that her tongue was removed instead of her teeth. Hey Kyoto, welcome in. Hope you're having a good night. It's a very good misadventure. The Sonic ones seem to be pretty, uh, I like the Sonic ones. Kind of weird seeing the 16-bit to 8-bit comparison, but... Four, five, six... Oh, I see... That... That's never fun, having to take your truck. This, especially, they, it costs so much. There's our good buddy, Jaws. That's why I wasn't moving. I was in the wrong spot. Oh, Jason's got his toothbrush. Five. There we go. Oh, once Slack gets the... Oh, hey, bad well, welcome in. Thanks for the good luck. Hope your night's going well. Jason's a big fan of that toothbrush. He uses it all the time. He really just wants to promote good dental health in Crystal Lake. 
Uh, once Slack gets the record back, I won't go back to it right away, but I feel like I probably will at some point, even though that run basically killed me. Well, not, it didn't basically, like, not literally, but I still haven't went back to full-time speedrunning after that, and it was, it's been over a year now. Laura, de Laura deserves all the hate. Oh, the Taz route is... PGH and I have actually been looking into trying to make the uh, Taz route humanly possible. It's just a matter of trying to... Uh oh There it is. You've got, from what we understand, you have about one-sixth of a second of time you can lose before, in order to, otherwise Jason will run off and you won't be able to catch up to him. So it's absolutely ridiculous if that holds true. 8-Bit Steve had said that there was a way or that he was certain it was humanly possible, but when we asked him why, he didn't really want to talk to us. Or he couldn't elaborate, didn't remember, neither of us were able to get any details out of regarding that. But I'd love to know, if there is a way, I'd love to know, because that would be awesome to have a different route. So wait a minute, he's running really fast. Is this this is still day one? There we go, nice and slow. Got him. It's always nice to hit him with that last rock in the butt. It would have been nice, like I'm hoping they'll it'll come up again where he'll have time to talk to us about it or something. Or maybe I can get Slack to ask him. Yep. That one definitely hit him in the Achilles. I'm really disappointed in myself for taking a hit already. I mean, I know this isn't the time to do a low percent perfect, but if I'm using your stone only, why not try to do a low percent perfect? Oh man, I gave him a hug. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, Paul again. Yeah, Jason, he's just... He's really not that bad. He's just... He's looking for some... He's looking for friendship. He just wanted a hug. And instead, I'm pelting him with rocks. Not being a very good host here in Crystal Lake to Jason. One, two... That's cool. That's awesome. Uh, which comic? I gotta try. I should really read some of these those comics. Hey, Tashi, welcome in. Hope your night's going well. Hey, Jim, welcome in. Hope you're having a good night. Okay, he wasn't here. I was sitting here looking around, and I'm like, wait a minute, I ran a I ran ahead before checking to see if he was in that section. 
See, Jason, if you would come out quicker, the sooner I can finish this, the sooner I can get back to doing parenting. Ow. Because it would suck to get a message saying, hey, she woke up. She needs help. Hopefully this is Mark. No, why is it all, why is he always attack? Oh man, Mark is back here. This is fine. We'll switch to Mark after we leave the cave. The cave. This is the cave loop. This is fine. I mean, now the low percent perfect would have been over anyway. She's got a couple hits left that she can take. Get in there. Okay, good. I was worried he was going to leave before I could actually get there. Uh, this one I was to asked to uh, beat days one and two with just stones, and then I can upgrade to the pitchfork on day three. So I'm wondering, the big, the big fun there is going to be, can I actually do Pamela without getting my face caved in? Because I, I don't remember a ton of the, like, I, I remember 2-3-2-1, I'll never forget 2-3-2-1. But there's like, I don't have all the delays down. Rock or be rocked, I like it. Come on, Jason. Give me some space. Hey, Vintego, welcome in. Hope your night's going well. Uh, Laura Stone only would unfortunately be old, just cabin fights. And while it's definitely possible and... Well, I shouldn't say definitely possible, it's... I've done no damage Laura runs, they just take forever. Because you basically just have to sit there and wait for Jason to attack a cabin. And when you can't chase him around everywhere... And you're just sitting there waiting, it takes so long. Like, you're, if you're lucky, you can get a couple hits in a pass. Or, per lap. Dabby? Okay. We're just gonna switch here. Gotta use Mark right now. Chrissy's taking a little, few too many hits. Uh, doing pretty good, just, uh, I was... The, I'm really, normally I wouldn't even be live right now, but with my daughter's teeth and everything, she got some teeth, oh, seven teeth pulled. So she's upstairs with my wife right now, and it's like, okay, she fell asleep. Gonna see if I can get it, because I haven't been able to stream all week because of a bunch of other stuff that's been going on with weather and kids and... Oh, well, nope, she's a. Oh, has over, really bad overcrowding in her mouth, so she's only 10. And they had to take out seven teeth to get room. Uh, to get her ready for getting braces. There we go. Three. But she did think that her tongue was removed. Oh, is he fighting to the death? He is. And she also was very intent on touching her nose in the back seat of the car on the way home.
It's gonna be a real challenge too, because uh, she got a. My wife got her a really fancy Stanley. It's their like so, the new water bottle that all kids want to have, and she's not gonna be able to drink the use the Stanley for a while because of you need to avoid getting dry sockets. So she's not very happy about that. One, two, three. Come on, Jason. Give me a little space. I know Mark has a terrible throwing arm, so I'd like a little more room here, please. Hey, PJ, welcome in. Hope your night's going well. Yeah, I didn't even know what they were, like, I didn't even, the Stanley was something that I hadn't really been familiar with before. Like, a friend of mine's daughter, they had Yetis and Hydro Flasks. And, hey, Shredder, welcome in. Hope your night's going well. But yeah, then all of a sudden, like, oh, I need to get a Stanley. And my wife just happened to be at Target one morning before with her before the store opened, looking for... I forget what it was, but there was like a stampede of people that all ran towards the Stanleys. And her and my daughter got wrapped up in it, and they ended up getting a Stanley to come home. And now that's what my daughter brings, brings to school. It's like, I don't get, I don't need a Stanley. This is my backup. Just a little thing of water. Normally I have a 52 ounce Bubba keg that I drink out of. Like, I don't need an $80 water bottle to hydrate. Crap, where was he? Where'd we end that day? We ended the day over here. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a limited edition. They were Valentine's Day ones when they got that. This would be a very good amount of vodka. I don't know. I think this is probably like, what, maybe 20, 28, 30 ounces, if I had to guess. I was not expecting him to show up this early. Are you coming back, Lorelei? Two, three... Four, five. Oh, now the SGDQ stuff and the speedrunner stickers, that's awesome. And I see the knockoff stuff, it's just, it's smart to have. You don't need to pay full price for something like that. There's no reason to pay full full price. The generic ones work just as good. If I drank, it would be fun to do that, but I've actually only had three sips of alcohol in my life. So I think like one beer and I would basically be falling out of my chair. Like I've had... I think I've bu I've bought two total Bubba ke two Bubba kegs in my life. Whoops. One of them got really old. I had it for like eight years, and then I bought another one, and that's the one I use now. The Dollar Tree actually that my my daughter got me. Uh, well, it was initially meant to get. She got it at the Dollar Tree, and it was just like a little thing with a big plastic straw, and it had a J on it, because that's what my first name begins with. And it was originally going to be for her teacher, but then she re-gifted it to me. And that one is dirty right now, so I can't be, I can't use it and I have to use this one, but my Bubba Keg is also dirty and I haven't had time to wash the dishes yet, so that'll hopefully be tomorrow. Because I need my Bubba Keg back. Jason. This is not smart when you're trying to conserve health. Hey, it worked out. I know we have... There's a Dollar Tree that's really close to our house, and... Like, my parents will pick up the kids from school every Wednesday, because they have early release days. And they'll, like, take the kids over to their house for a while, hang out with them, 
get some grandkid time, and my oldest daughter is always convincing them that they have to go to the Dollar Tree. You absolutely have to go to Dollar Tree. So they'll come in every week with a bunch of like all this candy and a bunch of stuff that they don't really need. Caught up to him. And got an axe in the back for the troubles. That was not good. Two, three, four. Well, I can luckily, uh, that one is technically, the camp cleanup without Mark and Chrissy technically isn't possible because I can't clean up everything without using them. So I can get away with not doing that one on a technicality. I could get everything, I could just kill them off right away and get everything else without them. Or technically, the way I do it is a little excessive. Like, to get a 100% run, most people probably wouldn't pick up every possible item in the game. Like, I, you don't need to get six flashlights or anything like that. You don't even need to get... You don't even need to get torches for everybody. So I could just, uh either kill off Mark and Chrissy right away or just not use them and just only like just pick up a flat like well no I'd still be need to pick up the flashlights for everybody for everybody else whoops that would be quite the uh I definitely you wouldn't be able to rely on path fights very much well, at least until you get someone with a sweater. If you got someone with a sweater, then you can at least chase Jason down on, like, day three or whatever. Or the pitchfork, that makes it trivial. Wait. No, this is right. I've already got myself... I should not have done this. I should not have followed him into the forest here. After it's been this long since I last played this, because I'm completely... I've, I'm pretty sure I've got myself lost now. I think he'll be down this path. Oh, well, okay, well, I that was not what I was expecting. I was trying to go down the path, and then he's like, Nope, We want to. I want to play more. There we go. How did I avoid that axe? Can't look away right now. Okay, after this, I believe he goes to the right. Uh-oh. Follow him, Mark. Yep, right. I should have put up my cheat sheet. Or I should actually just memorize that one of these days. Okay, maybe, uh oh. That was dumb. Oh, okay. Well, that was an accidental run into Jason here, but I have no idea where I am in this. I don't usually utilize the south... The north forest I'm in all the time. The south forest I'm not. So right now, I feel like I'm very much lost. This way? Biscuits! It wouldn't be up. Okay, I got a minute to get out of here before someone dies. Yay! I found the exit! <laughs> oh. 
uh, a mortal with no mark or Chrissy. Yeah, that one would take forever too. Because if anything with that, like without Mark or Chrissy, you're basically limited to cabin fights, especially on endurance runs like that. And I mean, I could definitely stand around and wait for him to go into a cabin, but each day that's like 30 cabin fights, and it's about, let's see, what would it be about 30? We'll just round up to 30. Well, it'd be, it'd be more like 35. So it'd be 35 cabin fights per day. Takes them about a minute 55 to get from the kid, like around to the kids. And if you're lucky, you get like two door block, two block cabin blocks in that time period. So that would probably take like an hour, hour and a half every day. That's just so long. Well, I could try it once just to see like, just try a day one once, just to see how long it takes. I could be greatly overestimating this. And if I'm overestimating it, awesome. Yeah, maybe I'll try that one of these days. That could be something for me to do after the tournament. Just time it and see how long it takes to do a Day of Immortal with only cabin fights. I should really make a command about that tournament. Um, next, not next, on Saturday the 13th, there is a knockout tournament for, uh, for this game on, that's going to be on Best of Ness. And last I heard, there was up, they, it sounded like 16 people signed up for it. Oh, I wouldn't want to do infinite health. I mean, I could do infinite health, but... Wait, why am I in a big cabin? He's not even here. I'm sitting here looking around for the guy and he's not in this cabin. He's over here. Did I not... I haven't. What what NES game are you playing, PJ? Oh, Chrissy's back here? Ooh, Mega Man 1, with or without the pause glitch. Mega Man 1 was like, I could never beat the Yellow Devil as a kid. And then about a year or two ago, I found out about the pause glitch, and the Yellow Devil's really easy with the pause glitch. Oh, zips make... zips terrify me. Like, it seems like it's so precise, and I feel like... I thought I remembered someone I was watching, maybe it was Christine, saying that if you do the zip wrong, you basically soft lock or something like that. So it's like, yeah, I don't trust, I don't want to do any of that frame-perfect, pixel-perfect stuff. That's too hard. <laughs> well, I guess it's saying it's too hard as I'm sitting here killing Jason with rocks. Well, that's a good goal, though. And Mega Man 1 is, a, I know it might not get as much love as the later, some of the later entries, or especially 2 and 3, but, uh, oh, this is right. But I love Mega Man 1. 3, uh-oh. Ha! Okay, I was not expecting him to still be there. Jason, stop doing that to me. Oh, which Mega Man 1 boss? I'm gonna guess... Guts Man? I 
Wait a minute, let's not follow him into the woods there. There's wolves in there. I don't want wolves. I always ha I had issues with Gutsman stage and Iceman stage. Did not like either of those. That would have been a good one to holy crap. A good one to guess. Yeah, it was actually um I was talking to Looking for Giants and um I sent her your Instagram page for the wood art, because she mentioned she thought I we were talking about pixel art. And I mentioned that you made me the Laura's corpse. Lorelei. And I send her your Instagram page for that. There is so much cool stuff on there. And actually, since I mentioned it, let's put the controller down and... Oh yes, sleeping. Sorry, not corpse. That was, uh... That's my bad. Laura's taking a nap. To look at the back. And it's even, it's kind of reversible in a way, too. Like, it, here it's like black and white or shadowy. And then here it's Laura. Was that intentional? Or did that just kind of, like, the, for the back? Was it being, was this intentional? Or did it just kind of, like, was it a Bob Ross happy accident? Because if the front wasn't so cool, I'd display it like this sometimes. Lorelei, stop standing on the top loader. And I even, Chaser even gave me a little stand for it so she can uh, sleep comfortably. Let's put her back this way a little bit more. Oh, okay. Lor oh, sorry, Lorelei, I, I was trying to sit down. I didn't mean to bonk you. Okay, come here. I reached over to try to pet her was as I was, well, getting back in my chair and my hand went up like this and I kind of grazed her nose a little bit. I'm sorry, sweetie, I didn't mean to bonk you. You okay? Do you forgive me? I know it was barely a graze, but still. Oh, Lorelei is, oh, you beat Rebirth yesterday, Chris. How, what'd you think of, well, I don't, probably shouldn't talk ending spoilers, but I'll say, did you enjoy the ending? I've read all the spoilers, so, and I've watched the end videos, so I know everything that happens. I'm just curious to see what you thought of. Uh, crazy is a good way to put it. Uh-oh. How did I dodge those? So the softer wood is kind of one of the, it's kind of a happy accident then. Let's, uh... Make it rain for a little bit here. Because why not? Yeah, there's... I know a lot of people I've talked to didn't, like... They didn't enjoy how they did that, and I think it's brilliant. Because it's going to keep people talking until the last game comes out, and that's what you need to do with the middle of a trilogy. You've got to keep, you've got to have something in the ending there to hold people's interest for the next couple years. Alright, day two should be ended shortly. I'd really love to see so I should... I'll, well, one of these days I'll probably make, like, sprite furniture for these cabins for my... little A-sprite animations. Did 
Jason loves the kids. Dot 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 for dinner. <laughs> I mean, he. I, you gotta wonder what he ate all this time. Oh, there he is. Chrissy's reaction time is too good, Jason. You got nothing. And jump. And flip. Oh, no. I waited too long there. Have to let him get closer so he can utilize the screen lag to get that extra hit. Whoa. Oh, you missed again. I'm... I'm smarting off to him here, and that's usually when I have a snowball and I take, like, nine hits. Alright, we gotta get hit seven over on this side. And ten, there we go. Hit him in the back of the leg. No, Chrissy, that's the wrong direction. We can't snowball now, because it's pretty close to a... F I'm guessing we're closing in on a fight to the death here. Oh, we're at one now. Okay, then. I'm glad I managed to jump that in time. That could have been a problem. I think he's mad that he's just trying to give... He wants to give Chrissy a hug, but all she's doing is throwing rocks at him. yet, Jason? There we go. He's using his noodle bat. It's very unfortunate and rude. Uh, nothing... Well, this weekend I've got... I'm going over to some friends on Sundays to do a PC gaming day, and tomorrow, if my daughter's feeling up to it, we're bringing her over to my par my parents' house. Really depends on how she's doing in the morning and how she sleeps tonight, and all that fun stuff. Let's see, Jason is going to the cave now. Uh, we have we haven't dis oh hey Ab, welcome in. Hope your night's going well. Yep, kind of, it's uh, basically the four of us just grab our laptops and we sometimes will play Valheim, Raft. Once we did Factorio, but it just involved us just trying to kill each other. I actually, I talk to my mom about that probably once a month. I'm just like, hey, you know, if you can ever convince dad to get rid of that pinball machine, I know someone that'll take it. And he's still convinced that if they get it fixed up, like I told him, look, you can get this thing fixed up and you're not going to get a huge amount of money for it. But he still thinks they can get it like at least a grand for it if they spend a bunch of money to fix it up. It's a uh, it's an old soccer. I don't. It was like, a, I think, Chaser, was it made in like 1978 or something? I don't think it was World Cup. I think it was just like a generic soccer one. One thousand if it's working. And I'm guessing it's going to cost that much just to get it fixed. There it is. That's what I wanted. Okay, so we still got some time here. I'm gonna grab the key. 
get this other vitamin and see if we can get the pitchfork with Mark. Oh, that's... See, like, that's one thing I'd love to get a pinball machine down here eventually, but uh, I need to get... I need to... We need to redo the basement, and I've got to get my basement arcade first. The pinball machine that's always stuck with me is the Super Mario Brothers one, where once you get the... Like, you have to knock down all these targets, and then the display screen will turn into a thing where you run and jump over pits and Goombas. I played that one at, a. Uh, Roller skating rink. Rank, rink. I don't. At a place in near here when I was in like sixth grade, and I'm like, that one's awesome. Oh, Donkey Kong Country 2 is one of my favorite games ever. Oh, virtual pinball. Yeah, you don't want to spend the money on a pinball machine if you don't know if the kids are actually going to like it. Okay, so that's 24 hits, two, three, two, one, two, crap, got stuck in the corner, three, two, Mark, you gotta hit her. Three, two, crap. Oh, that was two. Two, okay, is this one? No, that was three. This is why we did this with Mark. Um, okay, two, trapped in the corner again. Three. Two, one, two, that's why I grabbed vitamins, three, I completely lost track of the three, oh boy. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was so good. Okay, now where's Chrissy? We are not jumping. Oh man, it's Laura! Why did it have to be Laura? I want to pass the pitchfork to someone that isn't going to be taking da that won't spawn knives or anything. I don't want to risk Mark dying after all this, either. That was awful. How did I keep getting lost on the 2-3-2-1, two, two, too? That should have been easy. Is there anyone else in the cave loop? No. I'd say he's more of a zombie than a ghost. Oh, what? How is he over here? Did I catch him jit? Was I just on the edge there? Is Monopoly a popular pinball machine, or...? Um... He 
he's either about to attack the kids or I was just on the like last pixel that he could possibly show up in that little spot. Because I always judge it by, okay, if I can see the path, he can get to me. But I didn't see the path there. Oh, yes, that is beautiful. Someone moved in here. All right, we're good now. Assuming I don't screw this up. One. Two. Not a good time, Lorelei. Three. Four. Five. Six. Yeah, he's got to, Jason's got to eat, he's got to eat a lot of protein to keep that energy up. Oh, jeez, Lorelai, come on. Oh, three, Lorelai, this is not a good time. Four, five. This should be it. I could probably just mash him down here, but... Oh, there we go. Alright. That got a lot more intense than I was expecting it to, but... Got in and out in under an hour, which is what I was hoping.